you hear that? Yeah. Those, those are my birds chirping. <laughs> On our Simple Faith video this week, we talked about the birds and how we are so much more valuable than they are. Hey everyone, I'm Flo. Dude is behind the camera. And today we're going to do something super basic. And we are always here to help you live out simple, ordinary, joyful through simple cooking and simple faith. When I'm cooking at home, I'm not aiming for five-star cuisine. I just wanna get a tasty meal on the table for my family. So today, we're going to show you how to make a basic gravy and what smothered with gravy doesn't taste good. With this basic gravy, you can make it however you want. We're making it with chicken, to, uh, chicken better than boyon today. If you've never heard of this, it is better than boyon. It's essentially uh, a paste that you can turn into broth. It comes in a whole bunch of different flavors. So I always have chicken, beef, and vegetable in my fridge, and one teaspoon makes you a whole cup of broth. I'm making chicken gravy to go in my turkey pot pie that I'm making. So we are starting off with a quarter cup of butter. I'll just heat up my pot. You just wanna heat your pot up on medium and melt your butter. Sometimes to make a tastier gravy, I would add uh, onions or green onions at this point, well, after the butter's melted, and uh, cook that up for a while. So the longer you cook onion, for the tastier your gravy is going to be. So I would normally saute onion for about 10 minutes. And if it's green onions, I just cut them into like two inch pieces and I just cook that for a couple of minutes. Okay, so at this point, you can add two tablespoons to a quarter cup of butter. I want my gravy to be quite thick today because it's going into a pot pie. So I'm going to use a whole quarter cup of flour. And you wanna cook this for about a minute or two. So one of the things I love to eat is fries and gravy, as I'm sure you've seen in all of our Costco videos. So making a simple beef gravy like this at home is just awesome because I can have fries and gravy anytime. I have about a cup and a half of chicken broth here, so I'm just gonna add a cup and see how thick my gravy is. So that's quite thick already. So if you want your gravy to be thinner, you add more broth, or you cut down on your butter and flour. This is probably even too thick. I'm gonna take it off the heat because this burner is not very easy to control. Just add a little bit more. So this is what you're looking for, for turkey pot pie. So one way to get veggies into the kids is frozen vegetables, although they really hate this, but smothered in gravy, they'll be fine with it. They'll just tolerate it, I think. <laughs> well, I too prefer just corn, but you know, this will work in the pot pie. So I have about, I don't know, a cup and a half of this mixed vegetables. Because it's frozen, I'm just gonna toss it into my hot gravy and warm it up a little bit. Then I have my turkey. Now, I got the whole turkey for $7 just after Christmas. So I took this $7 turkey, I don't know how many pounds it was, maybe 18 pounds, and I immediately carved it up. I put the breasts together in one, and in another two bags I had just one turkey leg and one wing, so that was two bags, and then I have the carcass in another. And I vacuum sealed all of it and just tossed it in my freezer. And when it came to cooking, I, well, actually, what else did I do? I seasoned them all too before I vacuum sealed them. Then I can just take out a bag and sous vide it and right from frozen. And that $7 turkey has given us many, many meals. We already ate the turkey breast, which you can check out the video for, and it really is the juiciest turkey breast ever. We had already eaten some of this for dinner one night, and this was one full leg and one wing. 
and I still have like two cups of meat left. It's like the turkey that keeps on giving. <laughs> so we are down to what? Just the carcass left in the freezer. So I'm just gonna put everything into my pie plate and we're going to cook this first. Probably should cut that up, huh? Yeah, I just use a kitchen shears, I think. Oh, that's smart. I don't know if this is lazy or genius. I say genius. <laughs> oh my Lanta, it's working. Look at that. All right. Why dirty up a cutting board and a knife? That's what I'm saying, girl. <laughs> and I didn't even have to get my hands straight. Look at that. Well, as long as you have a a decently sharp pair of kitchen shears. Yep, I have to say, I love these kitchen shears. We had this other pair for like the longest time and it just didn't cut very well. But these are definitely an investment and their lifetime. Okay, I'm gonna put the veggies and the gravy in. <laughs> now my gravy's become like hard because the frozen vegetable actually like cooled it down. Look at all that color from the frozen veg. <laughs> this really is my lazy way of getting a meal on the table. So we're gonna put this in the oven just like this, well, after I mix it up, for about 20 minutes. And then I will put my crust on top for the last 10, 15 minutes. I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I am now putting the innards of the pot pie in there for about 20 minutes. All right. So you can see that it's already starting to bubble. We're going to put the pie crust on top. If you wanted to make a whole pie crust, you can totally do that as well. But I'm just using a frozen uh, pie crust that I happen to have in the freezer. And I'm just gonna put that on top. Probably shouldn't look like that, but but it's fine. Look, I even cracked it up. You made it look rustic, <laughs> Flo. <laughs> and I am going to, I, I have some cream that I'm just going to brush on top so that it browns a little bit better. I think the last time I made a uh, chicken pot pie, the crust came out like really pale, so it didn't look so appetizing but let's try to fix that this time. I think this may be a start of another hashtag instead of uh, can't be bothered, maybe hashtag uh, this isn't a fashion show. <laughs> well, that's the problem, right? Is usually I can't be bothered, so I don't take that extra step to make it pretty. And I'm not using an egg because my eggs are valuable right now. Oh yeah, that's right. We're down to our last like, Four several. eggs, four until my next grocery shop. I call dibs. Right, so this is going back into the oven for another 10 minutes or so, maybe 15. We'll check it at 10. All right. Uh, whoops, hey Google, stop. That's my impatience coming in. <laughs> he didn't even wait for Google to finish the timer. <laughs> It was 10 minutes with the pie crust on, and then I went to take it on. It was a little bit not so brown. It was still light on top, and I had already turned off the oven, but I wasn't aware fully, and I stuck it back in there for another five minutes with the oven off, and it's still like super hot, but it did brown a little bit more on top. Are you all ready for? Day, I don't know what day of this thing. And we're still holding it, keeping it down, keeping it together. And one thing is definitely one of the constants is Flo's fantastic cooking. So we joke about quarantine cuisine and pandemic food and all that on the IG stories, Instagram stories and whatnot. But really it's, we've been eating really well. This pot pie, crusty foods, Pastry foods is always a big hit with the family. And the repurposing of uh, 
the turkey for the turkey pot pie sounds like a forever winner. Oh, oh sorry, touched my... Uh, <laughs> mm, nice taste of the turkey. And let's get in there with some veg and the crust. Try to get a perfect bite without totally massacring this thing. I can totally see the steam coming up, dude. Can you? It's gonna burn. But you know what? Take one for the team. I'm a team player, guys. So the taste has got to do this. Not even gonna blow on it? Ha. Mmm. So good. <laughs> it's okay, guys. I think I just barely averted a burn tongue. Definitely tastes great without being salty. And with all that gravy in the frozen veg, more than makes it tolerable. I think is the word. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. It's like first world problems, right? Mm. You know, the kids may complain about no crust on the bottom, but my immediate answer is just be glad you have food on the table, guys. So this all came together all because of a gravy. When you make a gravy, you can add whatever you want to it and it will be great on top of rice or potatoes or pasta even. And it'll just be a tasty meal on the table for your family. Totally simple and easy to do. We're gonna be bringing you more videos like this that hopefully helps you just to put a simple meal on the table without following a recipe. And yeah, I think it'll go way further than what I can ever teach you in a recipe. For more simple ideas, I'll see you over there. In the meantime, be kind, love your neighbors, and stay healthy.